She passed out. Passed out. So I said she was spinning. She was flipping. I thought that, that was judgment. You not finna sit here and reduce the promise like that ain't gonna happen. By the time I turn, by the time I turn, look. Hey, So basically what just happened, man, listen, the, the, the word went out strong, like the Bible said, the word go out strong and don't return void. We edified the people. We dug into the real issues and the problems of the community. We had a sister come up as if she was listening, brought some laws to her. Then she started to mock the prophet, started pulling up her skirt, popping her ass, and trying to seduce us. And then not in less than 10 minutes, she fell out in the middle of the street with her ass out. And that's what you see right there. Yeah. See what I'm saying? So she, she, she got she got a hold of some bad uh, dope. The same one that the, the, the dude was snorting. Yeah. The same batch. Yeah. The same batch. She took the hotline too. Yeah. Yeah, so you're not gonna come out here and mock the prophets and think like the Lord ain't gonna judge you. We just read, we brought it out. Deuteronomy 32 and 39. Yeah. Isaiah 45 and 7. Yeah. Exodus chapter 15 and 3. The Lord. Don't play with the Lord, there is a God, all right? We, and we don't wish nothing bad upon our people. When we out, we out here for our people, you know what I'm saying? Can you kind of see her? She's standing up right now. Oh, she back, she back conscious? She back on her feet. So Lord's will, she repent. So let's do a little recap. I want to make sure y'all walk away with something. According to the Bible, you must have a word on your face as a man. A beard. According to the Bible, can you eat catfish? You're not sure. Can you eat catfish? We got to go to the dietary law. My man, not sure. Oh, we're going to bring that out too. We got to hit the dietary law real quick for my brother. Read what you got. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 11, verse 7. And the swine, though he divide the hoof. What is swine? Pig. Hog, all right? That's your bacon, all right? He said what? And the swine, though he divide the hoof. Don't, the, don't the, the, the pig divide the hoof, read. And be cloven footed. And it's cloven footed, meaning his, his feet have a split in it, right? Read. Yet he cheweth not the cud. The pig don't chew the food down to, eat, to, to the fine cud. Just it, throw it back up, chew it again and swallow it. The pig just devour whatever he put in his mouth and swallow it. That's why they fat and out of shape like that. All right? Read. He is unclean to you. So according to the Bible, can you eat swine? The Bible just said swine is unclean to you. So you got to let that swine go. It might be a struggle, might be a battle, but you got to let it go, according to the Bible. Or the Lord going to judge you. You might, be, you might be the next innocent bystander. That straight bullet. You understand? Read. These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters. He finna give you a list of things you can eat that's in the water. Pay close attention. Because I asked you earlier, can you eat catfish? Right? You eat it, you eat it, but is it is it is it uh is it lawful? Is it lawful according to the Bible? No. Okay, we we gonna find out because you you ever been fishing before? Yeah. Okay, you purchased fish. You went fishing before. Watch this. Whatsoever has fins and scales, and I want you to read that slow. Whatsoever has fins and scales, fins and scales, not fins or scales, fins and scales. Read it again from the top. Whatsoever has fins and scales. Shall you eat? That's okay for you to eat. All those that got fins and scales that's in the waters, the rivers, the seas, the oceans, those you can eat. They gotta have fins and scales. Now, let me ask you something. Can you eat turtle? Yeah. You're not listening. Read it again. Yeah. From the top. Yeah. Hold on. My brother. My brother. Before you leave here tonight, I want you to walk away with some understanding. That's my job. My job is to give you warning. I got to get the blood off my hand. If not, your dad, 
your blood gonna be on my hand. The Lord gonna hold me accountable for that. All right? Hold on, let's get that for real quick. I want you to understand what I'm saying. That's why I'm good. That's that's why I'm doing this recap with you. You ain't finna walk. You're not finna walk away from in front of me and not understand what I'm talking about. Not today. Not today. I want Ezekiel chapter three and verse seventeen. That's what I want. Ezekiel chapter three and verse seventeen. I want you to walk away to understand it, that, wow, you know what? That brother did say, according to the Bible, we're not supposed to eat nothing that don't have fins and scales. That brother did say, according to the Bible, man must have a beard on their face. Watch this. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 3, verse 17. Son of man. Son of man. You see these men in the purple and gold? Watch this. Read. I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Unto the house of Israel. Unto the nation of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. He made us a watchman over y'all. Y'all are people. That's why we came out here for y'all. We come to watch over y'all's soul because y'all been destroying yourself. When you shave your beard off, you mar you destroying your soul. When you eating catfish, pork, you destroying your soul. When you sleeping with woman after woman after woman, and you're not married any sister, you destroying your temple, your, your soul. Read it again from the top. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Unto the nation of Israel. Read. Therefore, hear the words at my mouth. What's your name? What? Tommy. What's your name? Tyrone. Tyrone. What's your name, brother? Vincent, Tommy, and Tyrone. I want y'all to listen real good. The Most High God said he had made us the watchmen over y'all, over the, the nation of Israel. All right? That's why we are here dealing with y'all tonight. Three. Therefore, hear the words at my mouth. He said, therefore, now we are here. And give them warning from me. Give them what? Warning from me. We are here giving y'all warning. That's right. Here's the warning. Repent or die. That's right. That's the warning. Repent, meaning stop sinning, or die. That's the warning. Now we're going to show y'all the laws to keep y'all in the spiritual, I mean, to keep y'all in the spirit from sinning. And we're going to show y'all the, the, the sin that y'all in. Read on. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die. The wicked is any body under the banner of Israel. Any so-called black, Hispanic, or Native Indian who's transgressing God's laws, who's breaking God's laws, are considered wicked. If you, as a man, shave in your face, guess what? You're considered wicked. If you shop and sell and cook and buy on Saturday or Friday night to Saturday, you're a wicked. If you still eat pork, catfish, shrimp, crab, lobster, you're considered wicked in the eyesight of God. If you're a woman and you wear pants, you're considered wicked in the eyesight of God. Bring them on, bring them on. If you as a, if you're a so-called black, Hispanic, Native Indian, and you blind your hair, you dye your hair blonde, you're considered wicked in the eyesight of God. Read. Step back, step back. And thou givest him not warning, nor... That's that seducer spirit right there. Don't worry about that. Read. Nor speaketh to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life. To do what? Save his life. The reason why we out here giving y'all warning is to save y'all life. Don't be the next victim we see in the paper or on the news. All right? Read. The same wicked man, that same wicked man or woman, read, shall die in his iniquity, shall die in his sin. So whatever sin you in, that's the sin you're going to die in. Read. But his blood will I require of thy hand. If I don't warn you or give you the, the, show you the sin that you're in, when you die, I'm going to be held responsible. God going to hold me responsible for it because I didn't tell you. So guess what I'm going to do now? I'm going to show you the scene that you in. Let me show you the scene she in right now. Give me the book of, uh, give me, uh, there should be no holes in the uh, house of Israel. Let me get that real quick. Watch this. I'm going to show you the scene of my sister in. I'm going to show you the scene of your brothers in. And she got to, and we got, y'all got to repent. Deuteronomy 17. 23, 23 and 17. Read what you got. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 23 verse 17 there should be no whore of the daughters of Israel read it again call it and read this is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 23 verse 17 there shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel according to the Bible 
There are not supposed to be no holes in God's house. That's right. There's supposed to be no holes of the house of Israel, period. That's a law. All right? We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.